Uh, here, this is a papilla, incidental papilla. We are using that incidental papilla, and we give a small releasing incision here. A nice one. Okay, till here. That's all. That's a one releasing incision. Here, one releasing incision will give. Okay, this is going backward. Okay. Now we are going to connect that. So with the some amount of gravicular traction. So that is a releasing, releasing. Releasing area where it has been. Okay. So we will move the small one. Here so this area we need to move. Undermine properly so that the flap is to be set. This is the junction which we need to release. So this is the junction. This section is the junction. Once you release, then you can just push the tissue back here. Okay, so that is it. Back here, you see. And then there is some amount of adherence there. You can just cut it up so that you can push the soft tissue back here. Now we have prepared. Okay, for the battery. I'm going along the plane of this. So this is the two I'm seeing the two that I'm going. Okay, I'm not shutting it too soon. This is the two that I have to see. So we need to always get us in the plane of the two. Going through the outer process and getting into the inner process. So if I see... <coughs> so I'm going into the... This side I'll call it a little bit. So this is the tube, through you can see, okay. This is the outer cortex which has been infiltrated. This is the inner cortex, this is the tube. Now what we are going to do is we will section it. So hopefully if I see here the entire tube, this looks like a midline form because there is a forcation on the heart. Just see from here I am able to see that and then we will go to now because to know some location. So I will tell you a little bit so that I can see that view through there. Okay, so this is the view of the Sectioning. So here I will put in my periosteal and try to done. Okay. So here be an angulated so what we need to do is we need to do a purchase point here okay this is a purchase point we already have done just relax Next is the closing the flap back, okay. Mm -hmm. The part of the flap has to be pushed onto that area. Take a part of the tissue. And that has to come around the lingual side. Look at it to that side, yeah. On the lingual side, yeah, there. That's the lingual portion, you turn it around. So that the flap can come around and prevent from pocket formation. Okay. 